My name is Rita Horner. Today I am at PCI SIG DevCon demonstrating the lane margining feature of the Synopsys PCI Gen 4 file. This is a new feature that has been added to PCI Express Gen 4 definition. First, before demonstrating the hardware, I would like to explain to you what is the main purpose and benefit of PCI Express's Gen 4's lane margining feature. Let's walk into an example of a complex backplane system where there are many line cards that are connected through backplane connectors to a backplane or a midplane environment. In this environment, this complex system, there are many opportunities for signal integrity to degrade. As a result, you may have a line card that has issues on slot number three compared to slot number five. This could be as a result of variation in the backplane traces, connecting the line cards to the backplane, the connectors, even the PC board material that you use from vendor to vendor may vary, even with the same technology spec that has been used. Even within the same vendor, lot to lot of a PC board material may have different performance. And yet you still have the connector performance variation. All this combined can cause degradation in the channel's signal integrity performance. There are channel loss increases, crosstalk increases, channel discontinuity, reflections are affected. As a result, what happens is the eye signal closure gets smaller and smaller over time. A higher channel loss in a backplane, you may have the same PC board trace of, for example, 24 inch. At PCIe Gen 3, you may have only 15 dB insertion loss, whereas the same trace running at twice the speed of 16 gig may have a much larger insertion loss. The channel can have lots of crosstalk because the signals are going much faster. And as they are closer and closer with these higher data rates, you start having a lot of interference between the signals on the same TC board backplane. Electrical backplane channel loss can be due to dispersion, crosstalk, reflection, in this complex backplane environment. As a result, a input eye that was clean and open ends up to be very noisy on the end. So, do you have the same margin on slot number three versus slot number five? As you see in this example, the eye opening is much smaller on slot number five than it is on slot number three. A system provider would like to evaluate before going into production if they are going to have enough margin as they move forward from PC board generation to PC board generation or from a vendor to vendor. This feature will allow them to be able to validate the performance and the margin that they have in their system way before production ramp. Let's talk about the lane margining as it's being defined in PCI Express's base definition in Gen 4. It is effectively a mandatory feature for PCIe 4 at 16 gig. To obtain the margin, you have to have the actually the Phi operating in active mode. And as a result, in collaboration with the PCIe controller, the I is margined either from right to left for the time mode or from a voltage for the Pi height. And the current receiver positioning requires a minimum of 0.2 UI on each side on I width and a maximum of 0.5 volt on the I height. The lane margining identifies the minimum I opening that the Phi has at its optimal positioning. And what happens is it has to at least have 0.2 UI on each direction on its width size and minimum of 0.5 millivolt on its height. So the Phi is supposed to step from the center, either to the right or the left, it does not matter which order, and identify where the failure starts to occur to identify the yield and the bit error rate of the Phi. And as you see in this example, there is plenty of margin beyond the minimum 0.2 UI I width and also minimum 0.5 millivolt I height. Now I would like to move on and demonstrate the actual performance of the lane margining in silicon using our Synopsys PCIe Gen 4 in 16 nanometer technology. Here is our 
PCIe Gen 4 16 nanometer test chip that is capable of lane margining. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how this lane margining is done. As you see, the phi is able to scan to the right in incremental step, identifying where the failure happens, and move to the left and capturing the eye width at the same time scanning the eye height. This concludes our PCIe Gen 4 system margining or lane margining at the receiver side. Thank you for watching.